Hey, you. Yeah, you. Can I buy some drugs? Do you want to buy some drugs? Stop. Pippa Pig just fell victim to peer pressure. But today, we're going to talk about how to not fall victim to peer pressure, and also how to not be Pippa Pig. So, depending on how old you are, you might not know what the D.A.R.E. program is, because it doesn't really exist in the same way that it did a long time ago, but that will become more apparent by the end of the video. Birthed from one of America's many triumphs, the War on Drugs, which we won, Drug Abuse Resistance Education, D.A.R.E., uh, was formed in 1983 as the love child between the Los Angeles Police Department and the Los Angeles Public School District. The idea was that they would have officers come into schools and, quote, boost the self-esteem of students so they can resist the temptation to use drugs. For a little background, the War on Drugs was a hysteria-based campaign that rampaged through America in the 80s, which led to the mass incarceration of minor drug offenses. America has the largest prison system in the world, with 20% of the world's prisoners being held here, and one-fifth of them being for drug offenses. Now, thinking about the failure of the United States prison system is a whole lot less fun than thinking about how weird this fucking guy is, so let's do that instead. The intention behind the program was to teach kids to say no to drugs, which was the cause of their Just Say No campaign. Which, to be fair, is a fairly respectable ambition, but it didn't really pan out that way. In essence, armed police officers would come to your classroom for around 45 minutes for 17 weeks and explain to children that if you did drugs, you are a criminal and will go to jail. Seriously, here's a video with completely unintelligible audio that they uploaded to their actual YouTube channel. Bro, that's a kid! That's a child! The biggest problem facing Dare's Just Say No campaign was that it taught a zero tolerance policy against drugs, which made it feel a lot more adversarial when it was being taught by uniformed armed police officers to children. In retrospect, it probably should have been taught by rehabilitated drug users or drug abuse specialists. But they never really picked that up. <laughs> For example, when I was in high school, they brought in some EMTs to teach us about seatbelt safety and why we should wear our seatbelt, because if we don't, we're gonna fucking die. So, they proceeded to show us a bunch of videos and pictures of car accidents and people that didn't wear their seatbelts and people that did. Those people survived. But what was more jarring was they showed us these pictures of this guy who got in a car accident and he had his sun visor angled at him and it just fucking scalped his head, just took it like- As a politician, you really couldn't go wrong with the D.A.R.E. program. It was pro-cops, pro-kids, and anti-hard drugs. Because of all that, the D.A.R.E. program's reach was nothing short of fucking remarkable at its height. It was in over 40 countries, it was in 75% of school systems, and it had like an 8-figure fucking budget. Even good old boy Ronald Reagan gave us National D.A.R.E. Day, which was in effect up until the Obama administration. And in order to make it more appealing to kids and parents, they made a whole bunch of marketing material. Like if you wanted to get it in your school, you had to go to the fucking donut shop. They gave it a cool mascot, he's got a t-shirt, kids love that shit. The marketing material is some of my favorite stuff. They made some songs. They made some commercials. They even ran contests for kids to make their own anti-drug PSAs. What the fuck is this? So with theirs political and economic success, it had to be good, right? Our second report tonight also comes out of the White House, and it has to do with a bad job. The President's National Security Council has reached a conclusion that many other Americans reached some time ago. The U.S. military effort to interdict cocaine in the air or on the high seas has been an enormously costly failure. Here's ABC's Richard Gisbert. But so far, there's little evidence that anything is working. Last week, a popular drug education program, the D.A.R.E. program, was deemed ineffective by the people who run it. Surveys indicate that hardcore drug use is up, drug-related violence is up, and visits to treatment centers are down. And the White House drug czar's own office was gutted, its staff cut, in the recent budget cutbacks. Richard Gisbert, ABC News, New York. Some of the studies even stated that you were more likely to do drugs having participated in the D.A.R.E. program. A good quote from the executive director at the time says, I don't get it. It's like kicking Santa Claus. We're as pure as the driven snow. There's a joke in there somewhere about cocaine in the D.A.R.E. program, but I'm not clever enough to write that, so we're just... Keep going. 
There's also a note to be made about if you tell kids not to do stuff, they're gonna do it. In the 90s, there was a lot of media about rebellion. Like, a lot of it. Like, there were a lot of songs about it. So unanimously, at this point in our story, public eye has completely changed about D.A.R.E. And in the late 2000s, they were given a choice, was either get their shit together or get the fuck out. So upon trying to get their shit together, they decided to implement a different strategy, which was, hey, maybe instead of fear-mongering kids, we could try and teach them responsibility and taking accountability. And that was the launch of their new program, Keeping It Real. Even then, in 2009, D.A.R.E. changed their IRS tax filings to kind of reflect that. Except that video of the cop arresting that kid in the classroom was uploaded in 2013. This is public. This is real. They decided this was good. They were going to post this. So this is the D.A.R.E. website where you can see a bunch of studies on why D.A.R.E. is the shit. And you can get in contact with representatives in your area to try to get it into your community. So I emailed the Arkansas Seraph Associations because I figured if I emailed like the regional director, he would just tell me to go fuck myself. But they told me that they are not associated with D.A.R.E. even though they are the top link on the D.A.R.E. website. In fact, only like one of the listed counties still actively participates in the D.A.R.E. program. And I thought it better if I didn't email this person. In the end, the D.A.R.E. program isn't exactly what it used to be. And I think that's kind of for good reason, right? Like, kids just aren't raised the way that they were 20 or 30 years ago now. I mean, not to get political or anything, but I... I don't, I don't think this should be happening to children. I, I, I don't think this is an okay thing to do. But that hasn't stopped our actual government officials from wanting to bring the old one back anyway. Even if you look at the comments on the video that they posted, my point is just proven by all these strangers. S subscribe to Slughouse for a motor vehicle of your choice valued at or under $30,000 USD. Hi, <laughs> baby pig.